Hello everybody. Happy New Year to you and your respective families. I found myself yesterday sitting in silence as I observed and listened to the sights and sounds of individuals sharing their thoughts about the year 2024. And as I listened, I reflected on it and also thought of a conversation that I had on New Year's Day, day with one of my mentors. She spoke to me from and shared from Second Kings chapter 4, commencing from verse 8 to 37, in which she articulated and shared the story of the woman, the Shunammite woman. Now the story is that the prophet Elisha often visited the town of Shuna, and during that time he would stay over at this particular house. And on one occasion this woman said to her husband, she said that she has, had observed that this was truly a man of God, and that they needed to make preparation for him to build him a room so that he could rest and replenish his strength as he would make his way through the area. And that's exactly what they did. But one day the prophet Elisha inquired from his servant Gehazi about the need of this woman. It was very evident at the time that the woman had no children because her husband was old. And then the prophet indicated to his servant that he needed to call the woman. Now, as this woman stood in the doorway, the prophet said to her, the prophet Elisha, this time next year, you will hold a son. To which the woman replied, please don't, don't play with me. Don't, don't make light of this because she really desperately wanted a child, but because her husband was already old, this obviously was not really possible. Now imagine you and I are standing in the doorway. We are looking into 2024. We have high expectations. We are trusting God to come through for us in major ways. One of the things that has been a recurring theme in some of the things that I heard yesterday is that people have indicated that the year 2024 is a year of open doors. I'd like to share with you what the Spirit of the Lord has been speaking to me about concerning the year 2024. And what the Lord has said to me is found in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. The Bible says, enter through the narrow gate, because wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. But narrow is the gate and narrow the way that leads to life and only few find it. You see, if there's one thing that I know about the year 2024, and this is simply because of what the Holy Spirit has said to me, is that the year 2024 requires of you and I, it requires obedience. If we have any inclination or every, any expectation, and we are like this Shunammite woman standing in the doorway, standing in the present, yet our eyes are gazing into the future, trusting the Lord to do for us what he did for this woman, a remarkable thing, a something that she's always wanted. She's had many obstacles, but now she stands there and she's being told, next year, this time, you will have a son in your arms. You and I, I know, we might have come through a very difficult year in the year 2023, and therefore we have high expectations 
of the year ahead. But I want to say this to you, and I want to say this respectfully. Please do not be fooled. God will not reward disobedience. If you and I have expectations that the Lord should bless us, that the Lord should come through for us, that the door should be wide open, I want to say this to you. God's word to the church is this. Enter through the narrow gate. You see, when you consider the narrow gate, you, you realize that it is not easily accessible. Why? Because you cannot take on to this narrow way. Not anything goes. However, the Bible is very clear that when you enter through the wide gate and onto the broad road the, or the broad way, anything goes. There are many who travel on that particular way. Anything goes. You can simply do as you please and still hold the expectation that even though you and I are disobedient, God still will come through for us. The problem is when you and I hold such ideas, we will certainly be disappointed in the year 2024. Because I say this again, God will not reward disobedience. And so my prayer for you is that you and I will enter through the narrow gate that we would think carefully about the decisions that we make, that we will think carefully of the things that we will do during the course of this year, and that our focus will be on listening to what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to us, and that we would, we would listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. You see, the challenge is the challenge is that the world has become, and especially those, some who are in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have become a people who lie to ourselves, who, who actually fool ourselves in believing that God would be satisfied with us simply serving him in any which way. And so my encouragement to you is, as we are still very early in this new year, that you would reflect on the path that you are taking, that you are sure to enter through the narrow gate, and that you would not find yourself like the masses who find themselves going through the wide gate, walking on the broad road that ultimately leads to destruction. And I want to conclude by saying, the Bible says, but few find it. Think about it. But few find it. May you and I be counted among them who will find it, who will find the abundance of life that Jesus promised. And may the Lord bless you May he keep you. May he sustain you. May your life overflow with his goodness. And my prayer for you is like the prophet Elijah spoke to this woman, that by this time next year, you will hold the promise in your hand, that you will hold the promise in your arms, that you will be on the receiving end, of that which God has prepared for you. God bless you. Have a beautiful 2024. But remember, the requirement for this year mm. is obedience. God bless you.